I'm the type of person that like it's very hard for me to study out of a textbook. I like to be working on a project, right. meeting people, greeting people. Right. So it's hard for me. I mean, I I have to really study and study to get my grades. And some of my friends are like, Chelsea, what are you stressing out over? And I'm like, ah, <laughs> I have to. So the college process wasn't fun. I had my ACT tutors, my SAT tutors. I applied to like 12 schools. But finally, I narrowed it down, and I got into two great schools in Manhattan, which is where I really wanted to be, Pace University and Marymount. And I picked Marymount, and I really think it's a great choice for me. Marymount. Now, it's a smaller college, yes. correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. in, in downtown? No, no uptown. uptown. Oh, uptown. 71st. Yes. Wow. Marymount Manhattan College. Yes. Yep. So, so tell me a little bit about what you're going to be doing when you're up there, because you're going to continue your radio show. Yes. Well, I got into Marymount Manhattan for communications. It's actually the biggest major um, within the school, so I get to meet a lot of other kids who are um, just as involved as I am, hopefully, and because I always like to get kids involved with the show mm -hmm. who are interested. So I'm excited. Um, not only am I just going to be a student still, like I was in high school, not just a student. I'm going to be broadcasting out of my apartment in Manhattan. So I will be broadcasting Teen Talk Live from NYC. And, and um, you'll still be on LA Talk Radio. Yes. Correct. That's what's Correct. so great about LA Talk Radio. It's very mobile. Mm -hmm. I can just take my laptop, my headset, my microphone, and mm -hmm. I can really report anywhere. And you're also not just on radio as well. No. We're Tell me about that. We started doing um, a lot more video. Mm -hmm. uh, I always wanted to be in front of the camera. I really never had an interest in radio until the it was presented to me. Mm -hmm. And I actually love radio. I can't believe how much fun I have while doing it. But um, I really do still want to do some film. Mm -hmm. So we started shooting webisodes, mm -hmm. web episodes of different events, different charity functions, different cute little segments. I did a prom segment with Mario Pucci and Salon Edge. Mm -hmm. And I got, me and my friends, we got our hair done, our makeup done. <laughs> we got dolled up in Mario Pucci's dresses. And we showed the latest fashion for prom and what hairstyles are great. So we're doing a lot of video slash radio and, as well. Right, and they go on YouTube. Yes, and you can get the webisodes on the website as well. Right. And your website again, teentalklive.net. Yes. Um, okay, and so talk to me a little bit about, because um, you had said also that you all will be doing other charity stuff as well. And yes. You can talk about SOS Children's Village. Yes, SOS Children's Village is an amazing charity that we've been involved with forever. Mm -hmm. And May 2nd is the annual gala. And the gala consists of so many things, mm -hmm. fun, dance, drink, food, but also the auction, mm -hmm. which is the most exciting part. Gregory's Jewelers is giving the most magnificent pieces. I'm actually wearing the auction item right Ooh, now. Ooh, that's beautiful. Yeah, he's amazing. And this is Gregory's necklace. As well, and he will be auctioning his pieces. Really great wags to riches from Atlantic Avenue. They actually give us a dog that we bring <laughs> to the auction, and my brother carries around the dog. Everyone falls in love with it. It's probably the most exciting thing of the night. And, and what is SOS Children's Village? Yes. The village started um, about 16 years ago, and um, it basically helps foster care kids have a home, a safe and happy home. And these are kids who are abused and neglected sometimes ripped away from their, um, their siblings, not only their parents, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and so they come to this place called SOS. Uh, they have SOS moms. And because of all the extra uh, people who work there, mm -hmm. we get to make them birthday parties and Halloween. And they go for psychiatry when they need to. Mm -hmm. And you know what the most beautiful thing is? They live a healthy and happy life and go to school like everyone else <laughs> and grow up to be tremendous successes. I mean, we monitor them into their 20s. So I see a theme here, you know, helping people just to live yeah. a normal healthy safe life. Chelsea has gotten so many kids involved in Boca going to the SOS. It's in Coconut Creek mm -hmm. and the kids walk away and they go wow we can't believe what these children have gone through and it makes them again say you know what we're lucky. Right. And the SOS children are going to be at the event. Yes and it's so yeah. sweet. Okay so I also want to ask one last question before we leave today <laughs> and I'm going to ask that when we come back okay. and it's where do you see yourself in 10 years? Because oh, yes. I think that will be an interesting thing <laughs> to hear from you. So we're going to ask that question to Chelsea when we come right back here on I in South Florida. Stay with us. All right, our final question for Chelsea Cross today. Chelsea, where do you see yourself in 10 years? You know, 
a lot of people love asking me that <laughs> question. And um, really, I love Eyewitness News. I would love to be a roaming reporter for Eyewitness News. But really, I do want to have my own show. I really do want to help um, the younger generation. And I charity is such a big part of my life as well as others. So I have a couple of options. Your mom had said something like, you know, The View, but for teens. Yes. You know, Barbara Walters. Come on, Barbara. <laughs> Barbara. We want to put it together. <laughs> I, want, I really want a teen view. I would love to have exactly what Barbara has with her panels, mm -hmm. but just teenagers talking about really important topics. Okay, let's get the final, the Dot Girl. Yes. It's to go to DotGirlProducts.com. DotGirlProducts.com. It's an amazing product. Everybody check it out, as well as Give a Girl a Chance Org. These bracelets are beautiful. Your yes. friends will be jealous. And all the <laughs> proceeds are going to a great cause. Yes. Yes. And also, you can uh, check out Chelsea live on the radio Wednesdays at 7 o'clock, teentalklive.net, and then yes. just click on the Listen Now button. Yep, exactly. All right, well, Chelsea, I expect great things from you. <laughs> I know we'll be talking to you again. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, and have a great day, everyone. Thank you.